hello, welcome. Oh, don't look at the floor. <laughs> I'm like in half um, computer work mode, half painting mode in the evening and everything in between. So it- My name is Juliana Lachance and I'm an artist, musician, and overall creative. And in, in the last week, I have had some major breakthroughs that have taken me years to come to. And I'm so excited to share them with you uh, in this vlog. Um, if I don't know what to do, I just sit down and do it. And it's coming to an end, I hope, soon. And I'll be able to launch the website soon. And sometimes I wonder, like, why is it taking this long? And it just takes this long because I have so many products. And it's going to look so cool once it's launched. And um, I really like this painting behind here. It kind of looks like a backdrop for like a movie or something. And um, I haven't some I haven't touched it in like a week. And I think it's good to like not touch your paintings for a week because um, then you can come back to it like with like a new enthusiasm. And um, I think I just used to finish like the canaries at the top and like the pears. But um, we went to uh, Mount Tremblant. Um, area we went to this like hobbit house for my birthday and um, on the way back we saw this like really magical mountain and so I I wanted to paint it in the background and also um I wanted to paint like um like a spring type of feeling even though like pears come out in the fall so like I'm sort of creating like my own worlds with this within this painting and like playing on the theme of like illuminating yellow uh which I've been playing with because I really like the color and I think it's made my life a lot happier since I started using it. So that's a little bit about this painting. Um, and just like the fact that like this time of day, like the sun just like beams right into to here. It's like such a bright, like everything is like, like yellow and like sunny and I'm, it's gonna be really hot in the summertime. I can just feel it. I can just feel it. Um, yeah. So yesterday we had this breakthrough that um, we both play instruments and uh, we're both pretty good at them so that we, we should jam. So we set this up in the living room and uh, it changed my life. It really changed my life. It's the best thing that could ever happen. So the exciting thing about lino cutting is that you can make one big giant stamp and this is uh, something I've been doing for many years now and this is the largest one I've done and the key is to focus on the shapes and like the contrast between the two colors of uh, the ink and the paper. So I'm making some big shapes um, just so that it makes a nice composition and I'm really excited because I, you can print this on t-shirts if you have the right type of ink or you can make it into just like fine art prints. So for me, I think it's important to do um, a test one. Oh, I haven't done this in so long. Oh my goodness. So I got this roller. Do, 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 do. So you roll it up. I might need to get more of this stuff. Because um, I really haven't done block printing in a long time. And then all of a sudden I got this like uncontrollable urge to do block printing. So it's really <sighs> quite simple. So this is just like a test to see w where my lines are at. And where I need to go next before I do like the big detail like on the, this die in um uh, for clothing okay oh yeah this needs a lot of work still <laughs> so lino cutting is a really fun thing to make and I've been making these on a smaller scale and selling them at craft fairs but now I wanted to make a bigger one and these are cool because you can print them on t-shirt uh, like a stamp because I'm usually painting with every color of the rainbow so this is a really fun way to mix it up change it up um, this is what I've been eating for lunch every day and it's just like kidney beans because I'm on this 
vegan diet. Um, I've been vegan, vegetarian since I was 16 years old. And um, I just started this bean diet at the beginning of the year and not eating sugar. And so like in the morning though, I have a banana um, in a smoothie and then I feel like really high from um, after my meditation. And then I get, like to just like get right into creativity and like kind of just do whatever, anything that I want. And then um, by this time, um, lunchtime I'm really craving some protein even though I have protein in my uh, smoothie so um, I'll probably just eat this with some tahini apple cider vinegar and um, it's like the Bragg's soy sauce so it has like no gluten in it so cheers I think that it needs another layer but I also feel like it needs to be put away for like a month or so before um, I come back to do some more detail on it because um, I have like um, inspiration to start an inspiration to start a new one so this one um, is inspired by spring and deer uh, having like rebirth and that whole like cycle of life of um, everything coming alive and just the mountain in the background is inspired by like this mountain that we saw in Quebec um, and it just looks so magical um, with all like the dead trees except like you could see like the prominent white birch uh, sticking out of uh, it, this mountain and I just was in awe of uh, what it would feel like to live underneath this mountain and so I kind of created this magical like dreamscape landscape of what it would be like to be a deer um, in the spring with all these flowers coming up alive and <laughs> and now um, I use my imagination to put pears it, in the tree even though that's like something that would happen in the fall so i really really excited um to come back to and revisit this one but um i'm excited to start this new one as well um but it's gonna be like inspired by um like it's gonna be very colorful very spring very light very uh fun and magical and you'll see so I think it's important to uh, work on things when you're feeling inspired. So like right now, I'm really inspired to work on the zine for my album. Um, so this is like, going to be like a complimentary zine um, that goes with all the albums sold. And it's going to have like all the songs with um, some of the photographs that I took um, for the project. And it's uh, black and white. So like usually my work is like really color driven and this time I'm like really interested in like the contrast of um light and dark um and grayscale because I think it's in during these times like um like it's really cool to examine it darkness because I feel that um the shadows have a lot to teach us um and also like it's a way to free yourself when you like embody like those uncomfortable things and it is like really scary and um uh that's where like fearlessness comes from and so i have like all these really cool images and um th the lyrics from my songs so it's gonna be like kind of like a poetry zine um with like the explanations of the songs to like give like a little bit like of a deeper meaning um yeah so i'm very excited and then i'm waiting for my ipen thing to charge because i'm gonna draw up a mock-up uh sketch for this painting over here and it's gonna be very very cool my morning ritual has consisted of drinking peppermint tea and a teaspoon of psyllium husk and this has been going on for months now this week i've been thinking a lot about business plans and just like plans of action in order to become like a, a, an even more successful artist um i feel like success as an artist is just being happy with the work that you're making and i'm very happy with that so i feel like i am successful um and happy um i feel my bigger goal is to continue making art full time and i just wish for the ability to do that 
I pray for the ability to do that and whatever it takes to do that. Uh, I guess once you get to know yourself, you really know what you want in life. And um, I feel that this is uh, something that I've been doing for over 10 years now and it's been the focus of my life. So I think it's okay like, um, to do whatever it takes, um, even, even taking other jobs or doing other things, uh, just like knowing that you'll, ha- I'll have everything I need and I'll always have this time and the space to, to, uh, to paint. So I have my little sketch, um, on, I have a little sketch on my iPad and now I'm going to sketch it out with, uh, now that I have the backdrop done with, uh, a little bit of, uh, chalk because this is like my secret tool and I feel that the reason why I like painting this big is because um I painted murals um this big and I got like a lot of satisfaction out to a big canvas and I always had like this really strong desire to paint murals like since I was in high school and uh, me and my friends would walk to school in the alleyways um, of East Hamilton and meet up in the alleyways and just like look at all the art and like the weird stuff that was in the alleys and I just like would always like imagine murals painted everywhere and like murals that I would paint and I just like finally got the confidence like that almost like five and a half years ago to start painting them and since then I, I painted 20 public murals and I really feel uh, that that's why like I f- the confidence to like paint in front of the camera and like do these things because there's always people watching like what you're doing and like watching you through the awkward stages but it's like it's important to have like a strong vision of like what you're going to be creating and to know that um, as you're creating it it's going to change and it's not going to look exactly how you imagined it so um it's just like the practice um because like the other thing like i wanted to mention too is that um i didn't go to art school i would like to go to art school now that i've really uh created my own style and like broke a lot of rules and broke a lot of my own rules as well too and just knowing that it's okay to um, change your style and um, try new things um, to, and to learn. I feel kind of like um, embarrassed about how stubborn I have been um, in in my workings because I uh, I have a lot of Taurus in my my chart. Uh, my Venus is in Taurus, so I feel that's why like I like beautiful things. I know that like a lot of people like artists they like have like patreons and like they make like pins and like stickers and um they like to teach but for me i just like to create like beautiful things that are like very like like physical and like one of a kind and that's my thing um just like the the murals are very like physical like down to earth um so as you can see i'm i'm doing some white rabbits and I thought this was like a very spring, summery um, concept um, in contrast with the the colorful mushrooms that I'm going to be painting. So that's why I did like a dark background so that the colors would really pop out. And so like my style has never been like realistic. It's uh, been very um, like, the, like the number one word used to describe my work is, is whimsical. And I just like I never even heard that word until like it, uh, like craft shows and like art shows where people are like whimsical and I'm like oh what is that I had to look it up and I'm like okay yeah it is it is quite quite whimsical um because I'm like creating these like worlds that are uh, very imaginative and the fact that like I don't see the world realistically also um, ties into that. Uh, I have like a, um, my Pisces, uh, my Mercury is in Pisces, so my thinking is very dreamlike. Um, and I feel that's why, like, uh, um, I've led, led the life that I've le- lived 
And it kind of, like, astrology kind of puts things in perspective and kind of humbles you and just makes you feel like it's okay to be who you are. Because for a long time, I'm like, why am I so crazy? Why am I... Uh, why can't I just, like, be normal? And I just realized that, like, this is this is my normal and that um the more I like l lean into it like the more I feel like like alive and beautiful and I especially like in the last um the last couple weeks I've been like really like sinking into it um this feeling of like what is my business plan what is this and just realizing that I really just it doesn't matter what happens. All I want to do is be to be able to to do this to paint. Like I've always, since I was nineteen, like found a corner to paint in in my room. And even if the, the art was strange, it was it was for me. And I just thought like if if it created like an emotional reaction, then it would have been then it's worth it. And it created an emotional reaction in me as I was painting it. It was like very cathartic. Um, I. And so I'm glad I didn't go to art school, but I would, I would really like to go, um, to learn how to, how to paint better now that I've like found my own style, <laughs> created my own kind of, um, niche, my own like storyline, my my arc but to be honest like I, I don't mind painting anything but like this is what like makes me feel like super super alive I'm just like ooh, like to be able to put like the colors in and like to have my vision come to life is like is such a uh, extremely beautiful thing and I think the thing about this too is that it like takes very little money to do like this canvas cost me 18 dollars and the paint um doesn't cost that much either and uh I think it will cost money when I have to put it on stretchers and stuff, but it's the alchemy of creating something out of nothing. And here I am um, creating this world on this canvas and it feels, um, it feels like in incredible. It feels incredible. So I'm eating the rest of the beans from yesterday. And so I have like this bean lunch, um, just like plain kidney beans or like black beans or chickpeas. And I put like apple cider vinegar and uh, tamari on it with some nutritional yeast. And it just um, has a lot of protein and it just keeps me going. I'm on this like bean diet where I'm just eating beans like twice a day. And um, I'm just trying it out and see if it works. But I think like the thing that works well about it is because <laughs> it, it's just like quick and fast and easy and I don't have to think too much about it. And I'm already like used to like eating um, mostly vegetables. So um, my taste buds are like, oh, this actually tastes good. Like the, it's not about how it tastes, it's about how it makes you feel. So um, it makes me feel grounded after I eat it. So that's, that helps. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm at Home Depot because we're, we're getting an air conditioner um, ahead of time because it's going to get hot soon. Anyways, um, do I like leaving the house? No, not really, especially um, just like, I just don't like leaving the house for like small little things, but I have to do this one So and um, he's going to do the next one later. Anyways, um, I'm going, the big thing that I'm doing though when I go out, is I'm dropping off uh, my oracle card deck booklet. Um, this is like 18 pages, double-sided of uh, my writing that I've been working on for the last year for the oracle deck that I've been working on. And I'm getting, I've already had it edited twice and um, I printed it out um, in large format so that um, it can get edited two more times. Um, I have two more copies of this and after that, like, I feel like I did everything I could. I have been extremely patient um, in this whole process, just knowing that it'll be, get done when it gets done because good things take time. And um, sometimes I feel like um, I'm always, like, rushing things. But, like, I think it's good to have, like, a fast pace. Um, 
but also it's important to have consistency and like discipline so like I consistently like worked on the writing every single day for a year and now I'm patiently waiting um, on the help of other people to uh, review it so I think that um, after this step um, it can go to the printers because the art is done um, it's all formatted and um, the box for the oracle cards is all done so it's pretty much done and I I just um that that little bit of uh that little bit more um patience because it's a little bit out of my hands right now it's on um in the hands of other people to help me with this and I feel that's like where a lot of my projects are right now um in regards to like the album that I'm working on I'm I've done all the music and all the vocals I, I wrote it I recorded it and now I'm waiting for um, the session musicians to send me back my um, back of the, the tracks that they have done for me and yeah it's just like being patient and knowing that it'll get done in perfect timing making some talk making some talk with me because it's Friday and I need comfort yes this is as exciting as it gets on a Friday night Oh yeah, and we're gonna jam. So signing off on this vlog, it's been a very productive week. Um, as here in Ontario, as productive as it can get. Um, and we're just gonna jam. See you next week.